Not for many centuries belonged in the, in the, in the synagogues, in the, in the prayer ritual. Well, lo and behold, this prayer poem is now one of the most popular songs on Israeli radio. Uh, it has been uh, refashioned in, uh, in a very gentle <coughs> rock version uh, with original music by Meir Banai. Meir Banai in the 80s and 90s was one of the pioneers of Israeli rock. One of the most beloved, we call them in Hebrew, rockistic, rockers. And Meir Banai is of Parsi descent, comes from a an extraordinarily important family of comedians, actors, and in this generation, rock musicians, all of whom have embraced Judaism in one form or another and have reshaped popular music. So Mayor Banai disappears in the year 2000 for seven years. And everyone is asking, Efo Mayor Banai, what happened to Mayor Banai? No more rock, we don't hear from him. Seven years later, he issues an album called L'Chael, called Shma Koli, Hear My Voice. And it is a collection of Sephardic piyutim, mostly from Yom Kippur, with his own music. Of Some of the songs are more traditional music. Most of it is his own music. Now, that in itself is extraordinary enough. But what made this truly extraordinary is that the album Shma Koli is embraced across the board in Israel and it becomes the album of the year. What do what you, you, in the States, is it Grammys, the Grammys? Grammys. It, the equivalent of, of, the, of the American Grammys, this in, the, in 2007, 2008, I think, Lecha Eli is the album of the year. So what you have is a fundamental shift in what we think of as Israeli culture. And I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to start in 1967 and give you some of the history to see how we came to this point where Israeli rock music is dominated by piyutim, by Sfadi musicians who are bringing in love of God and mystical themes into the heart of Israeli rock and roll. It is a different culture than anything we knew of Israel even 10 years ago. So let's begin. Uh, yes, can I, can I just make a comment before? Please. L'chai Ali, for those who don't remember it formally, if, when you come to the synagogue in Arab Yom Kippur, before Kol Nidre, this is a long, multi-page piyut that brings the reverence of Yom Kippur. To, I mean, when I'm sitting for years from childhood and throughout being a rabbi in a synagogue, thinking about the aura you're trying to create when you sing L'chai Ali, to imagine in the wildest of imagination that that can become a top 10 hit, a Grammy Award in Israel. I mean, it's... Who I, knows? I mean, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I mean, talk about great. It's absolutely fascinating. Uh, so let's sit and listen to L'chai Li by Meir Banai. And those who want to sit and close your eyes, and uh, but I know you're on jet lag, so maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> but uh, let's, this was the second thing I bought today. Yeah, that's second good. recommendation. Ah, 